Hi folks, I'm going to have a go at making a, a large-ish sort of bird feeder with I can either put three or four sort of feeding holes on it. It's a bit of a prototype in me at the moment, but uh, just get on and try and make it. I'm going to make it sort of in the shape of an onion, close it up like our small bird feeders. I'm going to make this a bit bigger and put sort of either three or four holes in, just depending on how big I can manage to get it and how many holes I can fit around the edge of it. Firstly, what I want to do first is throw a bit of a, a bit of a cylinder. So I'm just widening it out. Now. This is going to be hung out of a tree. So I'm going to throw it with a knob on that you can tie a string around it. So. I'll just lift it up first. to be quite narrow at the bottom as well so I'll just squeeze it in at the bottom before I lift it up. This is where I probably should have taken my watch off. No, I can just do it. Too thin at the top because I've got to close it in. So, what I'll do now, I'll slide down the touch. Uh, the watch is getting in the way. So I'm just going to belly it out at the bottom. I'm going to try and totally close it, close it right in now. So I'll mop all the water out before I close it in, so I'm not left with it full of water. This is where the pot can actually go a bit flatter than the actual shape it is now, so you've just got to be careful. I'm just colouring it right up. Just again, I'm just closing it right in. Trying to leave enough to make a knob. Doesn't have to be tied in a tree. You can just put it on the table, I suppose. Once the pot closed in, I'll just form a bit of a knob on the top. with that or you can tie a string around it. Anyway tomorrow when it's drier I will put the holes in and it all will be revealed whether it's a viable job or not so that's the first bit. So I'll let it dry overnight until it's leather hard and then we'll stick the old holes in and see what it looks like, see if it's a go or not. Even if it isn't, it's a decent bit of shape pot it is, so that's this that bit done for now. Right, folks, I'm going to just finish off this bird feeder prototype thingy. So I'm just going to just smooth it off a touch, not that it really matters. I don't think the birds will be that bothered. I'm just smooth it off with my fingers. make a little sort of rough guide mark with my fingernail just so I can wear enough so I know where to put the, the row of holes in. So this is what I'm going to use to put the holes in, an old baked bean tin cut in half on an angle like so. So we'll give it a go. I'll 
to try and get them all at the same level. And equal, equal things at the either side. So that going again. Tidy it up a bit in a, with a sponge in a minute. Da, da, da. That's three of them done. It'll look a bit of a mess for a minute, but uh, probably look a mess when I've finished it. Like, but so that's the fourth one going in. Give it a bit of, just give these holes a bit of a sponging. Smooth them off a bit. So my idea is you chuck a lot of food in the in the inside of it. I think just stick the heads through and uh, have a peck. Don't know whether it'll work, it probably will work, but uh, Been a bit nicer with these holes, clay's a bit soft so it's ripped. Me rushing it. I'll put a little hole in the middle at the in the burst so if there's any rain gets in it'll drain out just a tiny little hole. Snotty around edges. Anyway, I'll give it a bit more of a tidying up later on, but that's the sort of that's the gist of it. Should work. Stick your old bird food in the middle, and it just hop about. Little ones can hop inside if they want, keep out the rain. So looks like a bit of an alien's head, actually, doesn't it? <laughs> Anyway, you've got to try these things. So that's my first attempt at a, a multi-hole bird feeder that looks like an alien's head. That's about it.